principles upon which our country was originally founded. The canton of blue is the portion of the flag denoting honor and contains the stars that represent the states from whence came our veterans who served in uniform. The canton field of blue dresses from left to right as inverted only when draped as a pall in the casket of a veteran who has served our country honorably in uniform. In the armed forces of the United States, the flag is lowered during the ceremony of retreat and is folded into a triangle. The flag is then kept under watch throughout the night as a tribute to our nation's honored dead. The next morning, the ceremony of reveille, the flag is rolled off as a symbol of our belief in the resurrection of the body. The first fold of our flag is a symbol of life. The second fold is a symbol of our belief in the eternal life. The third fold is made in honor and remembrance of the veterans who have departed our ranks, who gave a portion of their lives to defend our country and to attain peace throughout the world. The fourth fold represents our weaker nature. As American citizens trusting in God, we turn to Him for His divine guidance in times of peace, as well as in times of war. The fifth fold is a tribute to our country. In the words of Stephen Decatur, our country, in dealing with other countries, may she always be right, but still, is our country right or wrong? The sixth fold reminds us of the six battle-wearing warriors who courageously struggled to the top of Mount Suribachi on Iwo Jima during World War II. They are proudly raised of our flag above the battle, our flag, the symbol that we all hold dear, the symbol of freedom, democracy, and a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. It is our duty to defend our flag, which stands for all Americans. The seventh fold symbolizes our hearts. It is with our hearts that we pledge allegiance to the flag the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, with liberty and justice for all. The eighth fold is a tribute to those who entered into the valley of the shadow of death, that we might see the light of day, and to honor their mothers for whom it flies on Mother's Day. The ninth fold is a tribute to womanhood. Through their faith, love, loyalty, and devotion, American women mold the character of the men and women who make this country great. When the flag is completely folded, the stars are uppermost, reminding us of our nation's motto, in God we trust. A thoughtful mind, when seeing the nation's flag, sees not really the flag, but the nation itself, and whatever may be its symbols or insignia, he sees chiefly in the flag the government, the principles, the truths, and the history that belong to the nation that sets it forth. The American flag is the symbol of liberty. We rejoice in it. After the flag is completely folded with ends tucked, it takes on the appearance of a cocked hat, ever reminding us of the soldiers who served under General George Washington and the sailors and marines who served under Captain John Paul Jones, and all who have followed and those who follow even now their comrades and shipmates in the armed forces of the United States, preserving the rights, privileges, and freedoms we enjoy today. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you remember the men and women of the armed forces on this most solemn day, Veterans Day. <laughs> on behalf of the 6th Security Forces Squadron, the United States Air Force, and all those who wore the uniform before us, we present this flag. Irma Marsh Middle School, things fly proudly.